Hi, this is episode 70 of Krondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby dev and the CTO of the DevCamp platform. During the early stages of a project's development, it's traditional to build a prototype. Typically, it's smart to create a prototype to ensure that your perception of the project matches the client. In this guide, I'm going to walk through the top developer prototyping tools on the market. There are literally hundreds of applications to help you build prototype apps. This post would take a few days to give each one of those a review. Therefore, I'm instead going to discuss the tools that I've used for projects that I've worked on. Also, I'm not only going to list services that are defined as prototyping tools. By definition, a prototype is anything that visually illustrates to stakeholders how an app will look and or behave. With this in mind, I'm going to walk through the tools that I use that essentially just serve this purpose. Starting off the list is Envision. If you're familiar with the design space, you may have already used it. The service has been a market leader for quite a while and for a very good reason. At its core, Envision lets you build complete functional prototypes. For example, you can upload Photoshop files to show a design add in the sections where users can interact with the designs, such as clicking or sliding your finger across a portion of the screen, things like that. And then you can share the prototype with the project stakeholders so they can test it on their own computers or phones. When I started as a developer years ago, these type of tools didn't exist. In order to build a prototype, I'd have to build a functional application and just have the minimal backend functionality so I could build as quickly as possible. This process would take days or even weeks depending on the complexity of the project. However, thanks to tools like Envision, I can now create a fully functional prototype in just a few hours, and clients are then able to review the entire system and give feedback. Envision is great with web-based designs, but where I find it the most helpful is on mobile projects. Giving clients the ability to play with a prototype on their phone that acts like a real-world app is truly helpful. Next on the list is a service called Layoutit. This service is a code-based website that generates full bootstrap theme code. Therefore, Layout It is only useful if your web application utilizes the Twitter Bootstrap design framework. Many of the apps that I build utilize Bootstrap, especially during the early stages of development. With that being the case, I found myself using this tool on a regular basis. Layout It lets you drag and drop web app elements, and when you're done, it'll generate the HTML code that you can simply copy and paste right into your application. Technically, this type of service wouldn't be considered a prototyping tool. However, I've come to use it so often that I wanted to include it so that you can take advantage of it on your next project. Next on the list of top developer prototyping tools is the Explain Everything iPad app. Many of the applications that I build are microservice-based API applications. These type of apps are very difficult to show to clients without walking them through the code itself or building the entire app out completely. Therefore, I like to use the Explain Everything app so that I can literally draw out the software functionality. Explain Everything allows me to record my voice, draw on the screen, record the full session as a video screencast, and then share the screencast with the stakeholders on the project. This type of prototyping tool is great when you need to be able to describe a piece of the functionality that's 100% on the back end. With that being said, this may not be the best selection if your project has a user interface, so just keep that in mind. Fourth on the list is using a slide-based tool such as PowerPoint or Keynote. In the book Sprint, the authors explain how the Google Ventures team utilizes slide-based prototypes extensively. In the book, they explain that building a functional prototype in a few days isn't always practical. However, it is possible to mimic an application's functionality if you're creative with slides. In a slide-based prototype, you can perform such tasks as showcasing a design, including animation, such as the ones you'd see in an iPad app, and walk through the full logical progression of how the project will function. Another bonus to using slide-based prototyping systems is that there are a number of free options available. If you're on a tight budget and can't afford a professional prototyping service, this may be a great option. 
The top three slide services I've used are PowerPoint, Keynote, and Google Slides. Last on this list of top developer prototyping tools is the Marvel app. Don't get this confused with the comic book company. Marvel is a great tool that lets you build fully functional prototypes with a strong focus on smartphone apps. If you're a mobile developer and need to showcase an iOS or Android app prototype to clients, I'd recommend you check Marvel out. You'll discover that it's very similar to Envision. However, it's always nice to have alternative options to look at. Before this post ends, I want to offer a word of warning. Building great prototypes is an important stage in a project's life cycle. However, please make sure that clients are completely aware that a prototype is simply a design. When I was new to freelancing, I'd be excited when I had created a great looking prototype and I'd send it off to the client. The clients would love to see it and play with the system, but there was a negative side effect. Non-technical clients will many times confuse a well-constructed prototype with the finished app. I had a number of times where clients got frustrated after seeing the prototype when I would tell them that the actual app was still a few months away from being completed. So please take care to always inform your clients that the prototype is simply a non-functional design mock-up and that the majority of the development still needs to be completed. I hope that this has been a helpful guide to the top developer prototyping tools on the market. Please let me know in the comment section of any tools that you've had a good experience using and good luck with the coding.